We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for joining me again for another Vintage Collection Review. We're looking at the Tentive 4 Corridor playset. Now this thing is so much cooler than I expected. Um, I'm actually, I'm really glad I bit the bullet and I'm very, very tempted to get a second one. Um, so I just thought I'd share with you the box before we uh, get close up to the playset itself. Excuse the, uh, the light reflecting on it there. But it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Some cool features on the side. New Rogue One Vader there in shot. The droids scuttling across. A view of the back of the diorama. And uh, some display options for getting multiple pieces. So that's kind of cool. And uh, before we we'll go ahead, we'll have a look at the free figure that comes with it. Free. It's bonus. It, it's an extra thing. Um, so we got the Rebel Fleet Trooper. I've put this in a star case. I'm not going to be opening it up. I do have four of this figure already. So uh, not of this new release, but the old ones. And I've sort of customized a few. So I've got dis different troopers. So um, yeah, I decided to leave this one on the card. I think it's really nice. Uh, that Rogue One card. I think it looks brilliant. VC-183, unfortunately this is the only way to get this figure is in this pack, so if you are a uh, complete, completionist, you will have to buy this pack to get this figure. But I like it a lot. So uh, without further ado, let's take a close look at the playset. All right, and here is the playset. I've sort of stripped this back to its bare elements, uh, to all the pieces that you put together, because there are there's not really multiple ways to put one together. Um, there are a few opportunities to switch doors and move them around, but for the most part, we're going to put this together exactly as it's displayed on the uh, box. So we've basically got these two wall parts. And what you have here is some sort of just peg and hole stuff. And we also have the sort of indent bit there for the floor. So we'll, uh, we'll get that one attached first. Yeah, it's pretty simple, feels pretty strong. Again, here with this wall. And once I've put it together, we'll get a close look at all the details. So we have the other doorway here. onto the back so there we have the wall uh, now we've got two floor pieces this is straight and an angled and they simply just lock together like so now there is a spot here for uh, some pegs one of them has fallen out somewhere that doesn't matter probably won't use them more than anything but uh you actually pop these little pegs out in very tiny little pieces and uh, you can use them on the floor of the playset here so they simply just peg in all the all ready for a figure to to stand on so we'll just drop this into place Ta-da, I did it, finally. All right, so these extra pieces here are for basically, as you see here, it's simple perspective sort of shot. That's an option. Um, I kind of wish they'd made this backside a little bit more detail too, but they simply just sort of slot onto onto those parts there. You get four of them in a row, there, there, and there. So I will leave them off for this. Look, and I'll just put them out of the way because I'm more than likely not going to use them 
for this display. By the time this gets into a shelf, it is going to stick out quite a way. So we'll just sort of hold it up to the camera and we'll take a close look inside. Now, so these door mechanisms do just have a slide on top. So it slides shut, which is nice. The panel's really nice, sort of clean white look that the Tantive Forward does have. Another door here. It's the, uh, it's the same on both sides, so... It's pretty nice, it's sturdy, it's solid, it's not heavy. It's got a bit of weight to it, but it's not super duper heavy, which is fine. I'm finding that the floor pops up a little bit. That just could be because I'm not putting it on a flat surface, a super flat surface anyway. But it looks all right. I'd love to get the uh, the other side to come up and you know shoot some scenes down the full corridor like that. I reckon that would be fantastic. So I'm definitely going to look into getting a getting a second one. I think it'd be really damn cool. But yeah, there are def definitely a couple of possibilities of how you're going to link this thing up and put it together. But I think this sort of covers some good bases. And I'm actually going to use it as part of my next episode of Setting the Scene. Which I'm really excited about filming in the next few days. Alright folks, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if this is something you'd be you'll be picking up or interested in. What other kind of play sets like this would you like to see? I personally think uh, Death Star Corridor has to be has to be on the menu. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And hit the notification bell so you can get uh, alerts as soon as I drop new content to my channel. I appreciate everyone watching and for all your support. Until the next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.